Hello, hi, welcome back. I have、um, a timeless message for you today, and I'm gonna start with this Lenormand deck that I've been using to get、uh, messages for you, and then we'll follow up with some cards, okay? What should we? Focus on today. Scythe. Okay. So the scythe talks about endings. It's like cutting something away and Oh my god, I said that I just looked at the,、um, the book and there's cutting away as a theme. So, separation, abrupt endings, severing of ties, loss. Okay, so I don't know, I feel like this period has been a time where a lot of people are thinking about endings and cutting away, you know, the what's not serving. So, Yeah, let's, let's think about a question for today.、Hmm. How can I cut away what is not serving me? How can I cut away what is not serving me? Okay, yeah, that seems good. So let's try to get one or two cards, maybe two to three. Yeah. How can I cut away? Oh, there's a lot here. How can I cut away what is not serving me? Okay, the star. I love that. How can I cut away what is not serving me? That came out too. Let's see if we can get one more. How can I?、Ah, okay, that came out immediately. And death. Is the back of the deck. This is what we, it's the energy of the whole reading. It says, I let go and embrace new beginnings. I mean, what a message for the scythe, right? The scythe is definitely that card that corresponds with the death card, which is about transformation. It's about an ending, but you cannot have an ending. You cannot have a new beginning without an ending, rather. And therefore, things must. Die, things must be let go, things must be separated from to transform. Okay, that is great. All right,、um, let us look at、um, what we have here the star. Okay, so the star, how can we most cut away what is not serving us? The star talks about healing. Hope. I'm inspired and positive about the future. So I think what we have here is thinking about if we think about cutting something away, it's something from the past, something from the present, which is you have outgrown it really. You have, you're beginning to move past that. And so a lot of the time, these things are things which are maybe unhealthy, things that are maybe things that belong to the more immature self or. More, the more egotistical self. And so the star here talks about healing from that. You know, I, I really love that. Oh my gosh, the trucks. <laughs> trucks. I live quite close to the main road. And so there's always a truck. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. How can I cut away? This person is pouring into both. Aspects of themselves, yeah, into the conscious and the unconscious stream, and that's where the healing occurs. So, the first step here we have the message of we do need to heal what, what in us allows us to choose things that are not necessarily for our highest purpose. Ace of Swords here. I mean, it's the key card for talking about 
cutting things away with for, with clarity right so we have ace of swords i am ready for a breakthrough to success it's a new beginning it's about truth and so you can start a new journey and that's how you can cut something away eight of swords talks about releasing oneself from self-inflicted binds i mean there's a lot of like cutting energy right getting rid of things things that don't serve things that move us to or moving ourselves to higher truth and clarity greater clarity through understanding that we have grown we have changed and we want to move to that space of just higher level thought you know swords tend to talk about thought thinking rational discernment and i think that's a, a good word actually to bring in here discernment we can most move towards what serves us better by using discernment so that is um the message but let's get a a last message okay ah new adventures that comes out it's not interesting so like with the ending of things we can now move to newness i mean that's exactly what the death card here talks about embracing new beginnings so i wish you all good new adventures through the cutting away of things that no longer serve so have a good day have a good week have a good month have a good year goodbye